Hey guys, today I'm here with another lip swatch video. Um, today I'm lip swatching um, the Clove in Hollow Lipsticks. I first heard about this brand I think a couple of months ago and I really like the ingredients. I really like the um, premise behind the brand. They are a lipstick, uh, they are a vegan lipstick company, vegan and cruelty free, that focuses their ingredients on the Clean 15. So their ingredients are sunflower seed oil, castor seed oil, uh, mica, jojoba seed oil, castor seed oil again, um, caranuba wax, uh, candelia wax, jojoba esters, um, they have hydrogenated vegetable oil, grapefruit peel oil, orange peel wax. The only thing that makes these different from like lipsticks I would normally buy is that all of the shades do contain lake dyes. Um, some more than others, like the more pigmented shades definitely have a higher percentage of the dyes than the um, sort of less pigmented shades. Let's see if I can find you. One that's a little bit less, this like this one will have less um, FD&C dyes than the other one does, less percentage wise. But um, there are only, I think, two lipstick or lip products um, from different companies that I'm okay using the lipsticks when they contain the lake dyes because uh, the other ingredients are so clean. These are such a small percentage of the actual formula. I'm okay with it. And I don't use these lipsticks every day. I don't wear lipstick, you know, even non lake dyed lipstick um, every single day. So the little amount of time that these actually do spend on my lips, I'm okay with um, using them because the rest of the formula is so clean. Um, I, I do try to stay away from lake dyes as much as possible, but in some cases I do make an exception, especially when it's like a vegan, um, a vegan makeup company that has uh, very clean ingredients, I will make an exception. So this one, the Clove and Hollow lipsticks, and then the Modern Minerals lip glosses are like the only two formulas that I wear that um, contain lake dyes and I'm okay with. So uh, Clove and Hollow did originally just have lipsticks and lip glazes. I do have one of their lip glazes, um, but I've got uh, five full sizes of their, you know, lipsticks, and then I've got four of samples of their other colors, which I don't have the full sizes in. Um, so I'm going to be able to swatch the entire shade range um, of their lipsticks for you. I'm not sure, I haven't tried the lip glaze yet, so I'm not sure that I'm going to pick any of these up, any more of these up, but if you're interested in a lip swatch video of the lip glazes, I can definitely pick up the uh, the samples and um, I can do a lip swatch video of the lip glazes for you. I can do, I can just do this one and sort of see if I like the formula and then you guys can tell me whether or not you want to see lip swatches of the lip glazes for Clove and Hallow. Um, or Clove and Hollow. Clove and Hollow, Clove and Hollow. <laughs> uh, they also did come out with a face range recently. They have a powder foundation, a pressed powder foundation, and then liquid concealers. I did get a sample of one of their powder foundation colors because I did, I'm really interested in trying the pressed foundation, and I think the shade that I got matches pretty well, so I'm probably going to be picking up a full size of that. The liquid concealer, I'm probably not going to be trying because it does contain dimethicone, so that one's a little bit less... Uh, natural of a formula than I prefer, so I just stick to um, powders and things like that when the liquids aren't very, uh, they're not as natural as I prefer. And I also don't like dimethicones because they do clog my skin, so if you if you use dimethicone um, normally, uh, definitely give that one a try because it is, other than the, the dimethicones, it is pretty, pretty cleanly formulated and from what I've seen people really like it. Um, they do have a makeup melt, which they also sent me a sample of, which I think is just coconut oil. I'm not sure what else is in it. Um, and I think they're coming out with cheek products and eye products sometime soon. Their website says coming soon. I'm not sure when, but I'd be, I'm really excited for those when they do come out. So hopefully the, uh, the cheek products don't contain lake dyes because that I do, since that stays on my skin longer than um, like the lipstick does, I, I prefer to not use, I don't think I have any, I don't have any colors um, eye shadow or uh, or cheek color that contains lake dyes or anything like that. So as long as those don't contain like lake dyes or phenoxyethanol or anything like that, which I hope they don't, um, I will be, I would, I, I'm really interested to try those as well. But now that we're five minutes into this video, let's get on to the actual lip swatches now that I've talked about talked about them enough so I've gone over the ingredients um, they do have nine colors ranging from like neutrals to brights so I think that's the way that I'll do it I think I'll go um, neutrals to brights or neutrals to I don't never mind you know what let's just do the little sample things first because I hate these little <laughs> I hate the little clamshells Ugh, this is like the worst sample packaging 
but we're gonna we're gonna do it so this first one is frosting and it's like a sort of like pinky shade they did send like a little thing that I'm gonna try to use um, to apply the lipstick with so let's see how this works okay so this first one that took me way too long to apply because my lips are uh, very chapped and I meant to do a lip scrub and then totally forgot uh, this one is frosting and this, in all honesty, is not my color, so I'm glad I only picked up a sample of this. It didn't look this sort of like baby pink or like frosty on the uh, swatches on the website, but um, it's definitely very like concealery almost. It's n it's like a pink, it's like a pink baby color, but it's it's very concealerish. I don't know. This is definitely not my favorite color. Um, I don't go for colors like these because they sort of like wash my whole face out, but. This one is frosting, and I'm not going to do any close-ups because, like I said, my I did I forgot to scrub my lips, uh, so hopefully this is sufficient enough. Um, but I think you can you can tell the color pretty well, and I'll do I'll do arm swatches, and I'll probably post them on Instagram. Um, so this one is frosting. So this next one we have here is creamsicle, and I'm actually really enjoying this color. I didn't think that I would, which is why I didn't pick up. Um, a full size, but I'm really liking this color. It's sort of like a bright orangey pink almost. Um, I'm really liking it. I think it's very pretty. It definitely will be a very um, nice spring and summer shade for like next year, so maybe next year I'll pick up like the full size of it, but I'm really really liking this color. I think it's very very pretty and suits my skin tone really nicely actually. So this one again is Creamsicle. So this one here is Damsel, which is a beautiful red, like pinup red almost, or I don't know. It's just, it's a really beautiful red. Again, I wasn't sure about the how I would like it based on the, uh, the sample color online, but I definitely really like this color. I love reds. I love pinks. I love oranges. You guys know this. Um, so I really, really like this color and another one I might have to pick up a full size of because I really like it. I like the formula of these so far. They're very like nice and creamy and moisturizing. This one almost feels like it's got a little bit more of like a matte finish. I don't know if that's like intentional or if it's just the uh, the coloring, but I really like this color as well. So again, this one is Damsel. Let's just watch this rock <laughs> So this last one here that I've got a little sample of is Psych, which is like a deep purpley, like berry color. And I don't know if it's like the applicator that I'm using, this little thing, which I kind of like actually. It makes it, it makes getting around the edges like really clean and easy, but it almost feels a little bit patchy, but that might just be the applicator. It might be different if it's like coming from a tube, but I think it's just because I keep going back over it. It like sort of like makes it disappear in spots, but still. Anyway, this is still a very pretty color. I mean, definitely not like an everyday color for me, but it is very pretty. I really like it. Again, it's like creamy and it feels nice on the lips and it's it's like a gorgeous color. So this one is Psych. All right, so now we can move on to the ones in the actual bullets, which will be much easier to apply. So I've got five shades and let's start with Desert Rose. So here's Desert Rose, which is a very pretty neutral, like everyday sort of, how would I describe this? Almost like pink, pink taupey, maybe? Or pink mauve -y. mauve -y, mauve, however you want to say it. But I like it. It's a great everyday color. It's a great sort of like office color. It's a great, you know, every situation color. I really like it. I think it's pretty. This one is Desert Rose. Again, they just feel like super smooth. I was able to scrub off some of my like dead lip skin, <laughs> as attractive as that sounds. Um, the darker colors it definitely clung on to, but since I'm able to scrub some off, it does like feel nicer and they like apply a lot easier now that um, I've scrubbed my lips. So definitely scrub your lips before you apply your lipstick. This one is Ballerina Slippers, which is like a, almost feels like Barbie-ish pink. I sort of, I prefer Creamsicle to this one, I think. I think for me, 
I mean, it's pretty, but I like the other one better, I think, on myself. This is still a pretty pink color if you're looking for sort of like a neutral pink. Um, definitely still very wearable, still very neutral, pretty ballerina slippers. So this one is Sugared Plum, which to me is a pretty... It's like cool and wearable, like purple shade, I think. In my last order I placed, I ordered ballerina slippers and this one. And while I do like this one, I wish I had bought uh, Creamsicle and um, Damsel instead, because I think I like those two on myself better than I like the two that I bought full sizes of, but that's okay. These are still pretty. I'll still, I'll still find a way to wear them and make them work. But it's, uh, like I said, a pretty... Like cool neutral purple it's like it's a wearable purple it's not too out there this is sort of like the lighter end of a uh, psych you can wear you know this one during the day and then psych at night or something like that <laughs> um, but yeah so this one again is sugared plum this one here is flaming coral which is a beautiful orangey like fiery red so this one again is flaming coral I wouldn't call it coral, at least for me, because corals tend to not look that great on me. But this is definitely more of like a fiery orangey red color. Flaming fiery orangey red, I guess, though, doesn't sound as good as flaming coral. So this is the one lip glaze I have in Angelic. And it comes in one of those twist up, um, like brush tip applica applicators instead of like the traditional doe foot that you usually see for um, lip glosses, like doe foot or like this in like a tube instead of um, the wand. Um, I'm actually surprised. This is the first time I'm trying it. I'm actually liking the formula. It's not sticky. It is kind of thick, but I don't know. I might have just layered it on a little bit too much, but it is very like nourishing. Um, the ingredients in this, I'm pretty sure are about the same. It's got castor oil. Um, jojoba, castor, caranuba wax, shea butter, olive oil, candelia wax, um, grapefruit peel, and then these also do contain um, lake dyes uh, to color them as well, but I'm actually surprised I like the formula. And this angelic color is not it's actually pretty pigmented and it actually, I like it better than like ballerina slippers, which this is another pink. I like this pink better than the ballerina slippers pink um, in the lipstick. So. I mean, I was eyeing a couple other of these colors um, because I did, they had like a really hot pink one that I like, um, and I forget what some of the other colors were, but maybe I'll end up going ahead and picking up um, samples of the rest of these so I can do lip swatches on the lip creams uh, or the lip, what do they call them? Lip glaze. Um, you let me know if you'd like to see a separate video on the lip glazes and um, I can do that if you would like, but this one is angelic. I do like the formula. It's not sticky. It is pretty, pretty moisturizing, and it's pretty pigmented for, again, like I was saying, a lip gloss. So this, again, is the Angelic Lip Glaze. All right, so I saved what I expected to be my favorite for last. I hadn't tried this one yet. I did swatch it at the Indie Beauty Expo, which is where I bought this specific color. Um, but I hadn't tried it since then, and I love it. Uh, the application, I didn't do too terrible because I'm planning on wearing it after this. But it's like a, it's a cool, um, purpley, like hot pink almost. It's not like all the other hot pinks that I have. It's sort of more purpley hot pink, but not too purpley. It's, it is still very hot pink. So this one is blooming. Um, definitely their brightest, their brightest shade. So my favorites would definitely have to be um, blooming. I loved Flaming Coral. Um, what else? I love Desert Rose. And then Damsel and Creamsicle, I think, are my two other favorites. Ballerina Slippers and Sugar Plum are pretty, but um, I wish I bought the other two as full sizes instead of those two. I wonder if I can do an exchange. I'm not sure, but I'll probably keep them. <laughs> um, and then I did, I'm surprised I liked the formula of this. I didn't think that I was going to like that formula. But this again is blooming. Just love this color. I love the formula. They do have a shade of what I believe are matte liquid lipsticks, but I haven't picked up any of those because again, the formula is not as clean on those, in my opinion, um, as like the lipsticks are and the lip glazes are. Those are definitely cleaner. The other ones do contain, or the, the lip, the matte lip stains do contain um, dimethicones, I think, and um, other things that I'm not really, I don't really, I feel like the lake dies as far as I'll go in terms of like not clean of a formula and put that on my lips, but I'm not into 
like dimethicones and stuff. Plus I don't really like the matte, the whole matte lip lipstick thing with the, you know, where it needs to like not be transfer proof. I don't really care about that. Like I find that there are most matte lipsticks or like lip stains in the green beauty space that I've tried have had pretty great staying power, even if you like eat or drink or things like that. I mean, none of them are the, the ones that I've tried aren't transfer proof, but I'm not, you know, like making out with people all day long, like kissing, kissing things. And I don't really mind if, you know, my, my dishes end up with like a lipstick ring on them. So, so that is all of the lipsticks, or I think they call them lip creams or the, the lip cremes, lip creams from Clove and Hollow, all nine shades, plus one of the, one of the, uh, liquid, lip glazes um, in angelic so again let me know if you'd like to see a swatch video of the lip glazes and i can go ahead and order those samples and maybe one or two full sizes we'll see um but i hope you enjoyed i hope this was helpful if you've been interested in trying out the clove and Howl lipsticks but didn't know colors you wanted to see them on like an actual person instead of just like a swatch online i probably will still post a swatch um swatches of them on my instagram but um here is all of them on my face. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what your favorite color was. I want to know what your guys' favorite color was. So let me know. I'll see you guys in my next one.